Okay, good morning. Welcome to Thursday. We're here in Twin Lakes, south of Streetsboro, north of Canton, Route 43. This is the way I've been going recently. It seems to be a little bit quicker until we get behind the truck. The speed limit here is 45. We're going 32. And uh, it seems like I'm always behind trucks on this road. I don't understand why there's so many. Anyways, Twin Lakes, you guessed it. There are two lakes here, one on either side of the road. And um, it's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll come this way on the way home and film it better then. It's a beautiful day so far. We've got San Diego blue skies and a perfect 75 degrees this morning and 10, 19 p.m. a.m. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning, Kent State. Uh, 1027, I'll be in my lot by 1034. And there's the museum that we could never find, Rockwell Hall. All right, good news and good news. Thursday is over, that's the first part of good news. Second part of good news, well, it actually starts with bad news. The other day I looked up my, well, yesterday, when was the iPhone thing? Wednesday. So yesterday I looked up my eligibility according to the link on at and site and the one that Apple put on their site to see exactly what it's going to cost me to upgrade from the 4S to the 5 because I got my 4S week one, day one, last October, whenever that came out. Okay, let me rant hold, hold for a second. Why the hell are there so many cars out on the road? It is four o'clock on a freaking Thursday. I left school at uh, three o'clock. It's been an hour, I'm still not home yet. It's like 10 miles. I've gotten every light red. We're going 26 miles an hour. The speed limit is 35. Why are there so many cars in Ohio? It's like California, it sucks traffic wise. All right, feels better. So anyways, uh, I looked up the eligibility to see what it was gonna be. Um, I need the 64 gig. Yes, I'm buying an iPhone 5. No, I'm not buying a Samsung Galaxy S3 because it's a plastic piece of shit. Um, I need 64 gigs. I have about 22.5 megabytes free on the 4S right now, and I have just over half of what I want to have on there on there. So I definitely need more space. And the price quote that I got to upgrade was 849 plus anything that AT&T decides to throw on there, which I read would be about 250. So that would be about $1100 to switch phones. Now I looked into it. If I leave AT&T and go to Verizon, I have to pay for what $20 a month for how many months my contract is still in session, which is till May. So it would cost me about $140 to leave AT&T. That would be so much cheaper to leave AT&T and to go sign up with Verizon on the 4S and get or the 5 and get the subsidized price through Verizon. So uh, with that in mind, on the way home from Kent, that's kind of why it's taken me so long, I stopped into the AT&T store for 10 minutes, talked to a woman in there, explained everything to her. She said, yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Let me look into it. Well, we're kind of going to cheat the system. I'll use my grandmother's eligibility plan to upgrade to my 5. So I'm going to have to use her number, and it'll come to me all set up for her, so I'll have to take it into the store to activate it on Friday the 21st, which will probably be a disaster. Um, I don't know, maybe most people can do it themselves, but that's the plan. So good news is I get the subsidized price of $399. That sounds a lot better than $1,100. Um, and then next year, maybe I'll use his, his eligibility, and then the year after that, I'll be able to use mine again. Good thing they don't want new phones. All right, good morning. It is now 12.38. I've been talking to Colt for a while, doing a bunch of stuff online. Feels good to be productive. Um, and I'm getting ready to pull another about three to four hours tonight. It's the iPhone pre-order. And of course that means I'm gonna be awake. So I gotta log back into that, hop on Skype with Colt. We're gonna keep each other awake for a while, probably watch some Cleveland show. And I'm gonna move in here for the night. That is where I sat last year when I ordered the 4S. And uh, pre-orders were an absolute disaster. Servers were totally screwed. It took forever to do anything. You know, There's like five steps. So the first time you did it, you'd get to step four and then it would freeze up. Start over, you'd get to step one, 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 two, three, four, 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 one, three, and then finally you'd finish it off and get through all five steps and get the confirmation email like six hours later. It's a disaster. So hopefully this year it's better. I don't have high expectations, but um, you're going to be here with me through this. So get ready. We got two hours, 21 minutes to go. All right, guys, watching uh, Crazy British, British Bloke. We talked to Colts here. Say hi. He's here. We have a minute and seven seconds. It's 2.59 and 56 seconds in the morning. 
watching crazy British bloke. He's at some drag strip and they're racing these things. Look at that. That's amazingly fast, but look at it. Uh, we got Canon online here, and I'm filming this way because the Mac's in the way, but yeah, 40, 45. I guess we can maximize the store window here. I just realized I was filming the credit card information I had up on the screen. Not good. <laughs> 30 seconds, still pulling a, the uh, the we'll be back thing in all the different languages. 30 more seconds, I'll film in a minute. And there it is. It is now 3.01 in the morning, and we're still pulling this page. So it's 12.01 on the West Coast in 10 seconds. Okay, now we wait. Last year they were 45 minutes okay. late. We'll see what's going on. I don't know how accurate that clock is. It should be pretty good. See what the iPhone says. I'm pulling 301. So we wait. 306, 23 seconds. Apple Store is still down. I'm trying to get stuff done through AT&T. However, it's not working. All right, guys. It is 3:35 in the morning. Just got everything taken care of via the iPhone app. It actually worked over here. So my only thing is I'm having it sent to my grandfather's house because I know he'll be home and it's actually closer to where I'll be when I get out of school to go pick it up on that Friday. Um, but I have the billing address set to here in Hudson, but it's being sent and on his card to Silver Lake. I don't think that'll be an issue. Anyways, here's Brad. Brad says hi in the vlog uh, on Skype. So I haven't talked to him for a while. But right now I'm trying to log into my account uh, to see if I could change the billing address or anything like that. And it's telling me, oh, now it has changed. That was right before. Right, we'll see, right. my, uh, Colt's, Colt's talking. He got that all set up. So he got the 32 gig white. I am the 64 gig white, and I'm looking forward to it in a week. So that's it for today, day 641. Talk to you on Friday. Actually, later today, Friday. Good night.